Roar! Hey everybody, it's Matthew Reinhardt. Ooh, I'm getting scared. Today we're gonna make another prehistoric animal pup, and it's gonna be, ooh, something scary. Saber tooth cat. Ooh, or everyone knows um, the most popular kind of saber tooth cat, a smilodon. Um, and uh, so the reason why we're making these uh, prehistoric animal pop-ups, it's kind of inspired by the prehistoric books that I made uh, quite a few years ago. And um, I just love prehistoric creatures. Um, I love paleontology. And I thought it'd be really fun to recreate some different uh, pop-ups with you and focus on prehistoric animals, whether they're dinosaurs, prehistoric water uh, creatures, or even like flying reptiles and uh, prehistoric mammals. So let's get started. Let's learn a little bit about today's pop, which is a saber-toothed cat. Saber-toothed cat refers to many different groups of extinct uh, felines, extinct mammals. Um, and they were all uh, these lion-like felines. Um, and they had long, sharp teeth coming out of their upper jaw. Now, saber-toothed cats, even though they look like, you know, modern-day cats, they were uh, members of a group of felines that are no longer alive. They're no longer extent. They're extinct, um, and they're not as closely related to modern-day felines at all. We do find a lot of their fossils in the La Brea tar pits in California and in, in Los Angeles. I've been there, and it's so cool, um, and I've even got to meet some of the amazing fossil um, hunters there that find all these saber-toothed cat bones in the tar. Ooh. So let's get started making our saber-toothed cat pop. What do we do first? Well, we, we click the link down below, download those templates so you can make your own pop, and print them out onto any color card stock you like. Now, once you've printed it out, you're gonna look for the dotted black lines and those, that's what we're gonna do first. The dotted black lines are where we score and that's gonna be everywhere there's a fold line. So look for all those dotted black lines, take a ruler, take a, a large paper clip, and you're gonna press the edge of the paper clip along all those dotted lines using your ruler as sort of a straight edge. And just press a little, you don't need to press too, too hard, but this is gonna make it so much easier for you to fold all these pop-up pieces. Next up, we're gonna cut out all the pieces and we're gonna cut them out really carefully using our scissors. And you can even cut out the little factoid um, piece if you'd like. So we're gonna cut out all these pieces and you, you know, move the paper rather than moving your scissors a lot. So that way you can get around all those little corners. Now that we've cut out all the pieces, let's get to pre-folding all the pop-up pieces. So we're gonna fold the base page just like that, that down the middle. Now this piece here, we're gonna fold this tab here. And we're gonna fold this little tab here. And also this piece here. We're also gonna fold this piece right here. Now just remember, there's a little cut mark in the middle of that piece. See how that goes? We're gonna push in those little V folds. See how that goes? We're gonna push it in, just like that. It's a little tough sometimes. Just stick your finger in there. There you go. And now we're ready to start glue and let's assemble. So let's get some glue. You can use any kind of uh, craft glue you like, um, whether it's Elmer's glue or whatever you got. Let's glue these two tabs, A and B, and this one right here to the, the leg. So we're just gonna put some glue on the base page. And you're gonna see um, these little gray areas. It says glue tab here, glue tab here, and it tells you what letter. And oftentimes the little uh, gray areas are the same shape as the tab so that it's easier for you to line everything up. So there's that first one, that's A, and it folds kind of under. See how, it, see how the edge kind of almost touches the fold in the center of the base page, but doesn't? You wanna make sure that you, when you glue things over, you never glue over a fold line. All right, so now we're gonna glue, this is tab B. Make sure you get just it in there. And you don't need to use a ton of glue, just as long as it, it's a, enough, you can kind of spread it around. We're gonna glue that tab under so we don't see it. We don't wanna see how those tabs glue down. We wanna, we wanna hide that magic a little, right? And now we're gonna glue down this leg part, right? Just here, see how that piece goes? I think that's. That's tab C, and it's shaped like the leg of our saber-toothed cat. All right, so we've got the body sort of all fleshed out um, for our saber-toothed cat, and, and now we just need the most important part, its head. 
so I can go after its prey. Ooh. All right, let's use, this is the lower jaw, and see, it just goes on. See that little triangle? We're just gonna fill in that little triangle on the bottom with glue. Don't use too much, but you wanna get enough so, and spread it around. And just see that corner? It fits right in that shape. Make sure the edge doesn't go over the fold in the center. Okay? So there's the lower jaw. And now, let's do the head. So the head, what we're gonna do is, first we're gonna glue over that piece. We're gonna glue just on there. So let's put some glue. See, just like that? So let's put some glue on its underside. It's just gonna glue to itself. This is gonna be a rotator. Um, rotators are, are uh, they use V-folds. And see that little piece, I just like that? Yep. So we don't wanna glue that little piece right there, that little flap. All right, so now let's glue. See that little gray area there? That's gonna glue right on that triangle, that gray triangle. So it's gonna fit just right there, just within that little area, okay? So let's put some glue, see how it fits? And we're gonna glue it so that, and assemble it so that it's open. So let's put some glue in that little triangle up top and we'll line up that edge. So you're gonna look under there. See, you can kind of peel it up and you can see it underneath. And make sure it glues down in place. See, that's where it should go. Oh, pull it off. Oopsies. That happens sometimes. So let's make sure that we get it in place. You gotta make sure that that is just right. Let it dry for a second. Get, and then let's maybe, you know, if you want, you can add the um, text um, onto your uh, pop if you'd like. You don't have to. You could add more of a big background if you wanted. All right, so let's see how this pop-up works. Ooh, look at that. Oh, wow, look at the saber tooth cat's roaring. Roar! Look at that. That's so awesome. Look how that moves. And you can decorate it using crayons. Oh, look at that. Oh, that Smilodon is so cool. That saber tooth cat. Look at that. That's so cool. You could add even more background. You could add a story to it. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. And you know, when we're finished with all these projects, we're going to glue them all together into a book and you're going to be able to have your very own prehistoric animal pop-up book that you've created. Oh, I love this. This is so cool. Hey, everybody, if you enjoyed making this pop, be sure to hit like and subscribe below um, and you hit the bell and you'll get to know about more um, videos coming along and we're going to have all kinds of other ones. Hey, thanks for joining me. There's more prehistoric animal pops coming along. See you next time. Bye-bye.